I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to another shorty. Now, I live in a pretty dull post-industrial town where nothing seems to happen. I've never moved away from it, and I've gotten so used to it that I can't really imagine anything else. All of which brings me to today's topic, full call. I pronounce it this way because it reminds me of the Swedish word for cheap beer. Mm. Cheap Swedish beer. But anyway. Released in 2003, Fulkul is a six episode story about Nauta Nandaba and his hometown, Mabase, all of which is interrupted by the arrival of Haruko Haruhara, a seemingly ordinary human who is in fact an alien criminal and, well, it gets complicated. Suffice to say that the show is a kinetic mix of pop culture, adrenaline fueled action and Japanese wordplay that doesn't quite translate. But who is young Nauta Nandaba? And why would a galactic rogue take up with him? Well, let's take a closer look. Nauta Nandaba is an ordinary 12 year old boy, excepting that his brother Tosuku is a baseball player in the US leagues. Because of this, and the widowing of his father Kamon, Nauta lives a rather solitary life outside of school, which is occasionally interrupted by Tasuku's former girlfriend Mamimi, or a small cadre of school acquaintances. Strangely, I see a lot of myself in Nauta, being a rather solitary figure, and not really having that many friends, at least until more recently. Also, Nauta's rather emotionally mature for a 12 year old, or at least he tries to be. This would come as no surprise, seeing they had no mother figure for at least part of his life, which I imagine tends to make one cold. It's quite possible that Nauta's desire to be adult, which is quite common in early adolescence, is what attracted Haruko to him. Of course, if we're going to talk about Haruko, her story is a lot less straightforward. Haruko, from the conflicting stories we glean from several sources in the show, is either a galactic police officer, or affiliate agent, or a space pirate's groupie, hoping to capture the power of Atomsk, the pirate king, and use it for her own unspecified ends. It's through her that the plot actually advances, as she provides the chaotic element in Nauta's staid life. I have known Harakos in my life, both benign and... less so. And I'm loath to offer yet another jaded take on what is essentially a manic pixie dream girl, though with some elements of action girl, and mixed with a small level of malevolence. What is interesting though, is that Haruko openly flirts with Nauta's father come on, though this is later revealed to be only for the power of the portal in his head. When it turns out he has no portal, she drops him like a bad habit. In the end, Horiko's main purpose in Fulkul is to upset the apple cart and accelerate the coming of age of our hero. It's a theme in the show that the more you try to act grown up, the more you have a special channel that allows you to open a portal in your head that will allow you to steal anything from giant robots to entire star systems. And apparently this portal is activated by wanging a guitar off your monts. Yeah, you'll forgive me if I don't try that one for myself. It is this power that Haruko is after from Nauta. Though personally, I'll never really understand the desire of some people to be the greatest thief or whatever. But this power also births the robot Kanti from Nauta's head. Truthfully, there's not much to say about Kanti. He's a walking MacGuffin who only really exists to feud with Nauta and defeat the monster of the week. What little personality he has extends to him being a meek gopher for the Nandaba family. Now, in the second half of the show, we're introduced to Commander Amaral and the Interstellar Immigration Division. Let's take a look at his role in all this madness. Amaral is an agent of the Interstellar Immigration Agency 
At first his role is Basil Exposition, giving us the backstory on who Haruko really is, and what her motivations are, but over the final three episodes his impressiveness wanes, as it seems he's had prior dealings with Haruhara. I couldn't say what they were going for with Amaral, as he starts off as a cool, seemingly wise and omniscient character, and by the end degrades into a pathetic man-child, dismayed that Haruko chose Nauta over him. Then again, we did need an expositionary character, if only to clue in the audience as to what in Bree's name was actually going on with Haruko. Amarau is perhaps the greatest expression in the series of how Naoto views adulthood, or possibly a cautionary tale of what a jaded 12 year old boy can turn into if he lets his adolescent disaffection fester. The portal in Amarau's head only lets the most meagre items through, mostly due to his sweet tooth and the digitally added seaweed eyebrow shields he wears. There's also a wealth of side characters and the childish adults and mature children of Marbese. But we've tarried long enough. Let's get to the point of all this. My opinion on this fooling, cooling six episode OVA. Full Cool is a fast paced pop culture robot adventure slice of life sci fi brain melting mashup with a surprising heart. At its core, though, this six episode adventure is a coming of age story for Nauta and it tells its tale well helping our hero to emerge from the shadow of his more famous brother and become the man he wants to be. The animation is at times verite, cartoonish, and very much a product of its budgetary constraints, most of which was spent on the outlandish comic panel sequence in episode 1. It's the fast-paced action sequences though that really bring this show to life. They're dynamic, dramatic, but also slightly silly. And there's the central lesson in all of this, that life in all its infinite glory is slightly silly, and we shouldn't take it all too seriously. In summary then, it's crazy, manic and packed with enough ideas to fill a full length season, and that's no bad thing. And even though we never really learn what fooly cooly actually means, if it even means anything, we can at least be sure that it means a rollicking good 6 episode OVA in the Gainax tradition. I've been Funky Monkey, and even I don't know what Fooly Cooly actually means. Oh well, so long.